Welcome back to the channel and today we're taking a quick look and uh, just unboxing um, the patrol boat Rivers Mark II for my Vietnam campaign build that I'm going to do in uh, 1 to 285 or 6 millimeter scale and the reason I'm doing this now is because heaps of people asked about the Brownwater Navy River Iron stuff so we've still got the lav build going on that's just up here in the left top left corner and then we're going to unbox this and we'll assemble one on camera in the next video and then we'll start on infantry people I had heaps of requests about doing six millimeter infantry so we'll start on that but um yeah the lav build's going on we'll get this guy opened so this is the order numbers there vn11 if you want to order it it's in the ghq catalog pbr mark ii which is the vietnam brownwater navy sort of apocalypse now movie sort of boat you see in there so we'll just crack it open and have a have a look at them so there's two in the box and I think I only ordered one packet, so I might order some, some more. But we'll open it up, have a quick look at the parts. So I always open it with the the uh, plastic bit, clear bit down, and then just peel the back off because sometimes there's pieces of uh, the the model under this foam. So I just yeah, just careful the way you open. So just put that off to the side. Um, let's see if we can zoom in. There we go. And so we've got some don't like the little canvas covers for the top of the boats. And next video, uh, when we do the assembly, we'll have a look at um, uh, maybe a photo of them. I'll bring up a picture of them. And it's another canvas top. Then assembly. This is the assembly guide. So, yep, clean it all up uh, you know try dry fitting them you know then glue them in place um, and then there's some options for some mounts so I've actually got the flames of war Vietnam book which has some brown water navy stuff in it so we might use that as a bit of a guide for for this so yep little instruction guide and two little canvas covers you know just take this oh, we've got something there Whether it's just a bit of flash. Oh no, it's actually a part. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what it is, but we'll have a look. Um, I'll leave that there. Then I'll take just this piece of foam off. Just be careful. Sometimes stuff is stuck to it. So get the foam out. Make sure there's nothing stuck to it. The the boats. Actually, they, look, they do look pretty good. They're not a bad casting. So, one, two of them. Two canopies. A bit I've got no idea what is what it is yet. Then there's a couple of little sprues. Um, machine guns. This is the only part where I find GHQ. That's the like the radar attaches on top. The only part of form GHQ that lets itself down a little bit is it's some of its machine guns that they're, they're just because just they're so small but um we'll try and fix them up there's another sprue and there's a little bit of flashing on there some more radars machine guns so there's obviously options for um, different types and then this is one of the gun turrets that fits in the front sorry a little bit out of focus that will fit in the front so on the on the model here you can see in the front there it has a twin 50 cow rotating turret so that's one of them so there's another one another one of those bits i've got no idea what it is and then another one of the radars for the top of the boat and that's all that's in that packet. So that's our unboxing and having a look at the uh, PBRs. And they were all along the Mekong Delta. And I think, I don't think they were used really much after the Vietnam War and a little set of instructions there. 
that's what comes in the kit. So we'll definitely do that because just had overwhelming questions about, you know, it'd be good to see one built. And I love that when people make suggestions and tell me what they want to see. So um, did that massive GHQ unboxing the other day. And we've done some Flames of War stuff as well. So um, let us know what you want to have a look at. We'll get out and look at it. And yeah, we'll continue on with the lab build, the Australian Army OzCam lab build. And we'll do four, and then someone requested a mortar lab. So I've ordered some more labs. When they turn up, we'll do a platoon of mortars as well. So we'll do four um, lab mortars. So, and at the moment, we're just doing lab 25s. But yeah, this, definitely get one of them ready um, off camera and built, and then we'll build the other one on camera. Thanks for watching.